The machine has totally five sections, the first part is wire feeding. The second section is heating chamber. The third part is the temperature control operation panel. The fourth part is the wire feed and collection control panel. The last part is the wire connection. Let's go to the back of the machine and install it. First, screw the separate parts together with screws. Generally speaking, these wires are already connected before leaving the factory. So don't need to change white wires. The left side corresponds to the wire collection. And the right part corresponds to the wire feeding. They're labeled with a serial number that corresponds to the number on the front. So you just need to connect the black wires according to the numbers. Then here. Connecting heating tubes. The right part is heating chamble. The left part is delivery tube. It is necessary to connect the two pipes and to lock the joints. Totally six tubes, each one operates the same way. Then connect this air tube. Also marked with a number. The numbers correspond one by one to the gas flow meter in front. Next, connect the ammonia decomposer. Connect the air intake here. Ammonia decomposer, connecting front wires and temperature probes. This wire connects to two locations on the front of the machine. Please note that if you don't connect the ammonia disintegrator, the front two holes can't be connected to other wires either, they need to be left empty. Then there's the temperature probe. It's going to link here. Connect in this way, so that the front gauges can show the temperature in real time. All the wires are connected. Next, connect the chiller to better cool down the machine for continuous work. The water outlet is connected to the water inlet of the chiller. The water inlet is connected to the outlet of the chiller. You can also prepare a large water tank, or you can connect it directly to the faucet. And finally, connect these conveyor belts. Next is the wire feeding. Each number corresponds to each other. The line comes in this way and goes around this way. After the wire has been wound, uses a long wire to hook the wire through the furnace chamber. And please note that all the numbers correspond to each other. All the wires come out of the top of the scroll wheel. For example, number 3, let's see how to wind. The above three wires and the bottom three wires are wound differently. 1, 2, 3, the wires come out of the top and wound up from the bottom of the second roller. And 4, 5, 6, the wires come out of the top and wound up from the top of the second roller. Let's go back to the front of the machine. These are ammonia meter gauge. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 corresponds to the air tubes at the back. Generally, the gas between 3 and 4 is enough. Counterclockwise is on clockwise is off. Turning on the machine. After turning on the machine, we set the temperature of the chamber and the decomposer. Below is the set temperature, above is the real-time temperature. And if you set it to 880 degrees, when it gets up to about 500600 degrees, you can connect the chiller. Setting the timer. White is off, orange is on. For example, 
You said it works to start at 8 o'clock a.m. and stop at 6 o'clock p.m. When the timer turns to the time you set, it will automatically turn off or on. Let's demonstrate. Generally, the speed of wire feeding a little faster than it is collected, so that the wire will not be stretched or thin during transmission, nor will it break.